Data-driven research and development often is hampered by the inability for scientists and their colleagues to easily reproduce and augment each other's experiments. Ideally, scientists want to learn what other scientists have done, create new ideas and methods, and then collaborate with one another about research topics of mutual interest. Finally, CodaLab's community members may wish to organize a competition around a particular research problem so that the community's best and brightest may challenge one another to develop the most effective solution. Finished competitions can then be resubmitted as new worksheets to begin the innovation process anew. To learn more about CodaLab experiments, let's click on the Worksheets tab. Learn by examining worksheets that were published by others in the community. The first worksheet listed here is a natural language processing experiment using the Stanford Core NLP Toolkit at its core. Let's examine this worksheet, as we may wish to edit this one in order to publish our own experiments using similar elements. The worksheet is essentially a data processing pipeline annotated with text. Data input, data output, and executable code used to operate on data are all referred to generically as bundles. By scrolling up and down to view these steps in this experiment, we can get a sense for what the author is trying to accomplish. In this experiment, the author is using the Stanford Core NLP Toolkit to parse and tokenize text taken from poems. The author begins with a brief written explanation of the experiment and has added the first bundle, in this case, some poems by Lewis Carroll. Click Show Bundle Content to see what poems the author has chosen. There are two poems that are being used as input, the bat and the crocodile as well as a shell script that was used to upload the files. Selecting bat.txt opens to show us the contents of this file. All files contained within a bundle can be inspected in this manner. In order to process the text files, the author has uploaded the Stanford Core NLP Toolkit. The second bundle, which will process the text files we saw earlier, contains the toolkit as well as the scripts to upload and download data from the CodaLab site. And finally, a run script, which provides the desired parameters for the core NLP tools to process the text. In addition to being able to view these files, we can click the download arrow to download this bundle to our desktop. In this way, we can edit the files in the bundle directly and make changes to them for use in our own worksheets. The third bundle shows the results of running the Stanford Core NLP tools against the Lewis Carroll poems in the first bundle. Clicking on bat.txt.xml, we can see that the words from this poem have now been output into XML, which shows tokenization, part of speech, and entities in preparation for further downstream processing. Here's more parsed text from bat.txt.xml. Now that we've parsed the text, thus making it easier for a computer to process, we'd like to run another program against the parsed text in order to generate a visualization that shows the part of speech in the poem. For this purpose, we'll use the VIZ program in Python, the code for which you can see here. Once the author has run the visualization program against the parsed text, some HTML output is generated. By opening the HTML file, we can see the result of the part of speech visualization program. Hopefully this brief walkthrough of a natural language processing experiment hosted in a CodaLab worksheet provides you with a concrete example of how data-driven researchers can use CodaLab worksheets to learn create, and collaborate. Community members can now easily copy and modify this worksheet in order to collaborate on different approaches, or create their own from scratch and publish it to their peers once it's ready to go. The ease of publishing and collaborating on these data-driven experiments ensures that CodaLab will remain a vibrant learning community for a long time to come.